talk about race when I get on stage because I'm black. Here's the thing. I'm kind of tired of talking about race, right? Thank you. I'm tired of that shit. I think we should only be talking about two things ever, okay? And that's good people and bad people, all right? And I think we all know that white people are bad and black people are good. (laughs) (laughs) We all know. I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. Because historically, historically, I'm um, fucking awful. <laughs> we all know that. I mean, here's the thing. Like, I am in a new relationship, you guys. Woo! Woo! I love this nigga, right? <laughs> I love him. In a new relationship. And he's a little bit smaller than me, so after sex, I let him wear my t shirt. It's just innocent, you know what I mean? I'm not putting no titty prints in his shirt. I'm a good girlfriend. It's kind of crazy because it's like, I know as soon as people look me up, they're going to look me up and this is going to be the joke that comes up. (laughs) Everything, everything is going to disappear except for this. I just learned how to come, ladies. I just learned how to come. Mazel tov. Thank you. She said mazel tov. That's crazy. Like, I'm 29 years old, okay? I'm a grown-ass woman. I got a little 16-year-old white girl talking about, you just learned how to come? <laughs> Bitch has been doing this since they was eight. <laughs> <laughs> In their own room. Yes, I just learned how to come. Yeah. Not come. You know, it's two different things. Coming and orgasming are two different things. And if you're a woman and you get it from another person, that's like, that shit, that's like heaven right there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Learn how to come, shit. I, like, I just thought it was the sound. That's what fucked me up. I thought it was the sound. I thought it was just, oh, yes. Oh, daddy, yes. <laughs> like I was watching a lot of white porn. I just thought like, oh, that's, <laughs> that was coming, just the way that they sounded. You know what I mean? But I guess it's not. It's not. I finally learned like what it really was. Oh my god! <laughs> 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 daddy, yes. <laughs> you still say daddy, but it ain't as cute. Hard. <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> you laugh a little bit. <laughs> Get off of my clit, I can't already. Uh, 
Like, and that shit, that shit, like, is nice. And my mom would call me and she'd be like, when you gonna bring home some little grandbabies, baby? Baby, when you bringing home some grandbabies? And I'm always just like, Ma, listen, I just learned how to come. <laughs> Last week, <laughs> I, I can't have no little fucking little bastard ass kids running around my house and I just learned how to come. I need five more years of coming before I have <laughs> any kids. Because okay? what am I going to do? How am I going to be, you know, assisting my children when it's like, you know, they come to the door, Mommy, I broke my leg. Help me. And I'm in the bedroom like, Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 skinniest bitch in my family. I don't really give a fuck what the world got to say. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't care. My joy comes from going to family reunions in the South and having them ask me how I keep such a cute little sexy little L.A. body. <laughs> <laughs> so I can let them know, you know. I eat my pool pork sandwiches earlier in the day. <laughs> Not right before I go to sleep like they do. It's called discipline. <laughs> <laughs> and none of these hoes got them. None of these hoes in my family got discipline. <laughs> they be mad when I call them hoes, but we got like more kids than we got fathers in my family. So I don't know. Somebody's a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no big deal. Hoeing is whatever. I hope y'all laughing out there because I. <laughs> <laughs> can't tell. <laughs> nah, but it's like, it's hard, but I am becoming a little bit more confident. Like, I, I, I'm learning to accept my flaws, you know, learn to accept my flaws. Like, I don't care. Here's the thing. It's all about perspective. Like, I don't care if you got a bald spot in the middle of your head, ladies. <laughs> if you go to a party confident, you know what those people gonna say? Damn. Woo! That bitch got a ball spot in the middle of her head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's not about them, it's about you. You know what I mean? You gotta be confident. <laughs> you got to love yourself. <laughs> you know? That's my PSA for the night. <laughs> you gotta love yourself. And if you ain't got no ass, fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> you pancake ass bitch. Just, just love yourself. Who cares? You still won't get a dick up in there. You think because your ass is pancake, you can't get no dick up in there? After a while, a nigga don't care. He'll be like, damn, she ain't got no ass. But ain't no other bitches trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's sad. That's sad. How does it feel to be a person and like go through life knowing you were niggas at like afterthought? <laughs> like, damn. I was trying to get your friend, but here you are, still here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I always feel like I'm up here too long. 
Since it's the taping, you can cut shit out, right? <laughs> cut out all the shit that didn't work. Do it. <laughs> Help a nigga out, you know? Black magazine. Black magazine. Oh, okay, this is a new joke. I don't like to talk about race. Who's that? No. <laughs> Was that a witness? <laughs> because I'm over it, you know? Like, I already dealt with the stuff I need to deal with when it comes to, like, race shit, you know? I went to college. <laughs> I went to college, and there was a girl that was living with me in my dorm room, this white girl, and I was looking at an Ebony, a Ebony magazine one time. Shh. I was looking at Ebony, I was looking at an Ebony magazine and she had she was uh watching me look at it and the entire time she's like, you know, I just don't think that's right. I don't think it's right that like black people get to have a magazine with only black people in it. <laughs> and it's like made for black people, but like white people can't have like a magazine with only white people in it. It's like made for white people. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, that that's like every magazine. That's, <laughs> that's all the other magazines. You know what I mean? But she just didn't she didn't get it. So I asked her, I was like, Well, what is it? Name me at least three black hair products. One. Name me one black hair product that I use on my hair. Name it. And she couldn't name anything. You know? She had no idea what it was. And it's just like it proved my point because I was like, I know what white people use on their hair. You know what I mean? Mayonnaise. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right? <laughs> and I just think it's so racist that she didn't know what the fuck I use on my hair. That was just a joke, y'all. I know you don't I know y'all don't use mayonnaise on y'all's hair. What y'all use? Pantene Pro V? <laughs> <laughs> Some shit like that. That's what I mean about cut out like the stuff that didn't work. Just cut <laughs> out the certain <laughs> parts, the little parts. I don't got shit else to say. I got a part. This whole time I've been having. <laughs> I've been trying to keep that shit in because I'm trying to stay a professional. So I'm done. Shit. Woo! Jill Chrissy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>